come, I am the Munchen King. I have to say, I'm not looking forward to this trailer. Um, I just reacted to the trailer number one, which came out a couple of months ago. I saw it at the time, but never got around to a reaction. This one, however, I have not seen, but I have a pretty good idea that I might lose all hope to you, to me, for sure, today. But <laughs> let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? It's just frustrating because in today's world online, social media, you cannot avoid spoilers, it seems. <sighs> Unless you're one of the very first to watch. I go on Twitter, what do I see trending at the top? Dark Ray. I mean, give you a pretty good uh, idea of what is about to unfold. Um, I go into Instagram, what do I see? An image of a Dark Ray, which I thought at first was just fan-made. But then, later on, I see the same image pop up and up. And I see red lightsaber, sort of, I see glances, because I don't really want to look before seeing it myself in the trailer. But I see extraordinary scenes of, uh, like, a double lightsaber type thing. Foldable, now, from what it looked like. I see on Twitter a banner uh, on the highlights. Fans are freaking out because... C-3PO has red eyes, so, with a picture showing it, so that would ruin too. Anyway, we'll talk about what we'll uncover after I've watched 2 minutes 30, uh, the trailer, so longer than the first one. Let's see, shall we? 3, 2, 1, go. Ah, how original. Oh, wait. Ah, they're doing throwbacks. Who are they trying to fool? This is no way this is going to be the last one in the saga. You just wait and see a decade or so. Or maybe two. No way is this going to be the last in the saga. They're just hyping this up as much as they can. Does anyone really believe there's not going to be an episode 10? A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. Despair. The crushing of dreams. Hope. And glory. This Christmas. A desert! Wow! Not seen a desert before. Leia! The story of a generation. Wow! Comes to an end. Oh, he doesn't look that bad. Cool. I saw on Instagram. Is that all? Uh, so the length was deceptive. Most of it was just uh, throwbacks to the other movies. Okay. Okay. As I was saying, I don't believe this is going to be the last episode ever whether it's in 10 years from now 20 30 50 i doubt it would be that long but they, they will make another episode i mean who really believes they won't i mean if i'm sat here in 50 years time and they still have not i will eat my potty for you to me for you for sure if i'm still around anyway Leia just, I guess, standing there uh, with this fake background. I'm sorry, but Leia 
never really does anything, does she? I mean, she was, <laughs> especially in the sequel, I don't blame her for this movie, of course, but I doubt she would have done much anyway. But at the same time, they did say they were setting up for her to have a great arc in episode 9. So maybe we would have seen more of her force powers, maybe we would have seen her actually fighting and doing something other than just sitting around looking depressed. But um, that was not to be, so that's why you need to use your actors whilst they are here and not just take them for granted. Oh, the next movie will do something cool. Um, no. No, 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 no. But anyway. Um, I'm not sure what her part will be in this film. I doubt she'll be in it a great deal, but maybe more than we expect. Um, this fight with Kylo and Rey looks to be on the sea. I'm guessing the same sea where we see the remains of the Death Star in the previous trailer. We don't really see it here, however. I'm guessing the ship they're on is a ship that um, they brought themselves. Um, May either Ray ship, probably not. I mean, how do they get to the Death Star? Do they just jump really high? They must have brought a ship or, or something. Uh, certainly the First Order would have brought um, some transport, which that's interesting because we've not seen ships on water before, uh, from what I can remember, in Star Wars. So that's something new that I do like. Um, however, whoa, what is this? There's a big laser blowing something up. What is that from? Another Death Star or, or what? Maybe it's from, um, did they, did they revive the Death Star, put it together from the sea and then make another one? <laughs> that would uh, really be uh, following in the original uh, trilogy's footsteps. Episode 4 we had the Death Star, then uh, episode 6 we had a, the, the, the half, all destroyed sort of Death Star, but they're still functioning. Well, haven't they had enough of Death Stars yet? All of these Star Destroyers in the sky, is kind, it's cool, cool shot, but I'm just getting tired of seeing the bad guys have so much power and have the, so much of the upper hand all the time. Even when it doesn't really make sense. Where were all of these Star Destroyers in the last film? Force Awakens, they blew up their whole base. And still they had a massive army by the next one. Well, not a massive army, but they still had the upper hand. Um, actually, they did have quite a big army on, on Snoke's uh, Star Destroyer. They had a lot of people still around. Yes, you can say maybe they were all around the galaxy doing some, you know, guarding other outposts or whatever, but after the last film, where were all of these Star Destroyers? They didn't think that that mission of stopping Luke was uh, worthy enough of all of it. That was the main mission, that's what they've been searching for, Luke, and they didn't have this, all of this might behind them there. So, I guess something now is the time they deem it uh, uh, worthy enough to summon all of their all of their army from around the galaxy or wherever these guys have been. I just don't like it, you know. We see them, the enemy get defeated, then we see them get defeated and defeat, and they still have the upper hand. They still have unlimited um, unlimited uh, ships at their disposal, unlimited army, even more than we saw in the last film. Uh, so it doesn't really add up, but... Here we see Ray doing some interesting tricks with her lightsaber in the woods. I always wondered why people don't throw their lightsaber more and do more creative things with their lights. You know, using the force power to lift up the saber and whip people with them in the face or... You know, they don't even have to go up to a guy if they didn't want to. They could just... They don't have to hold it. Who said they had to hold it? They could just use the force to uh, make the saber go round the entire room, like um, Guardians of the Galaxy and... Uh, what's that? Mary Poppins with his um, 
with this flying flute that just kills everyone, goes across the entire field, and then just comes back to him. He didn't have to move a muscle. So I don't know why the Jedi never did that in the previous films, but the most we see is Vader just throwing his saber once and it comes back to him or something. Actually, we never actually see it come back to his hand. We just see it sort of disappear and then he has it again in the next shot. Um, oh yes, this is really the highlight thing, Ray. Um, I will say that the, the fight looks better than the first one between Ray and uh, Kylo. I don't know, it seems faster. Faster and more energy, was that the phrase? Or something like that. No, no, no. Re I've seen a lot of people wanting Dark Ray and theorizing about Dark Ray long before the trailer. Probably since um, the last Jedi trailer, because at the end of that trailer it looked like Ray was turning to the dark. Well, it looked like she was being seduced by um, Kylo to the dark side, and it looked like she was going to join him. And that really, really annoyed me, because this doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, that's not anything that I want to see, but want to see. But it seems that some other people in the in the community do want to see Dark Ray, and I don't get it honestly. I just don't get it. She's if she didn't turn in the last movie, it makes absolutely no sense for her to turn in this one. I mean, she already had her temptation. She already had her seduction or her attempted seduction, and she fought it. She resisted it, and she chose good at the end. Remember, she uh, closes the door figuratively and literally on Kylo at the end of Last Jedi. So, in, if they were going to reverse that again, that would be a big thumbs, not thumbs up, thumbs down and a middle finger to that arc in time. Reminds me of Luke's arc. He already had his test of turning dark. He, he already had his, um, his journey and then they just reversed it for, for the sequence. Um, I don't think this is real. If this was real, I would be very frustr frustrated. I think this is uh, a vision. I mentioned the trailer for Last Jedi making it seem that she turned. And what did we know? She didn't turn. It was just edited that way to make it look like she was going to turn and get everyone talking and hype the movie up. But that's not what happened and I don't think it's going to happen now and I don't want it to happen now. For sure! I mean... <laughs> it would just be crazy seeing her like this, unless she was under some kind of mind control. Was it, I suppose you could argue it's all sort of mind control, the seduction to the dark. But if it is a vision, I don't know why she would be imagining this double folded lightsaber. <laughs> she looks quite skinny here. Um, I unless she had to turn dark in order to Say it everyone, I don't know. Unless she's pretending. Can you even pretend against Sidious? Um, I remember the double lightsaber when it's unfolded, of course, uh, the last time we saw that was with Darth uh, Maul. Very iconic to him. It's kind of a rip-off. Why are they copying his signature thing? I have seen actually people wanting a double a double lightsaber yellow. I know that's something I've seen pop up time and time again over the last couple of years. Imagining her with a double lightsaber in yellow. But I just don't, this doesn't make sense. She wouldn't be skilled enough to even be able to use. I mean, just imagine having that lethal energy on both sides and trying to fight someone with that, unless you had the training. I mean, more had years of training. Uh, his entire life was probably training as far as I understand. Ray, why would Ray be able to wield it? Uh, it's just, again, it's a, it's a thumbs down. It's, it's a middle finger. It is a middle finger to, to more, really. 
Um, oh, but she has the force or something. Oh, you're just being sexist. Uh, no, uh, but I, again, I don't think this is real. If this was real, I don't think they would have put it in the trailer. I think it's just a ruse to get everyone talking and outraged and just uh, get it trending. But it would trend anyway, but you know, give them something to talk to. Some big reveal, but even if it's a fake reveal. And that's something that makes me wonder about Sidious. Maybe that's just a big fake out or so. Like the Last Jedi trailer, when we thought she was going to turn there, and she did not, so I think it's going to be like that. I think this is a vision, and this is another seduction attempt. Because Sidious is always trying to turn people, but I don't remember him really using visions. I don't think he used a vision on Ezra, and I don't think he implanted a vision into Anakin uh, of him being evil and... Uh, have having a, you know, a red lightsaber. Um, why would you, why would you even have a vision of, a, of the double-ended saber anyway? Anyway. You know, it's kind of neat, uh, the uh, saber folding, but it's also kind of cheesy. <laughs> it, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of the people, there was a cartoon, like an animation making fun of Kylo Ren's lightsaber when that trailer came out. I don't, you've probably seen it if you're a fan. It's like a, a cartoon and they get bigger and bigger, crazier shapes of lightsabers, like an axe and just things you couldn't describe. Like um, it unfolds and has all these crazy designs for lightsabers. It reminded me of that when I saw it. And here we have a foldable horn. Uh, but yes, it's. I really hope they're not doing this, and I'm sure it's a, it's just a vision. If it, if this is real, it's it's also dumb that they spoiled it in the trailer. So I don't think they would have spoiled something like this in the trailer. They probably just would have shown her thinking about turning and not showing her in these dark robes and you know fully turned. So I don't know. I think after what. The Force Awakened was a disappointment, The Last Jedi was a disappointment, and I think after that, I lost some hope for humanity. I lost some... I, I think I lost some magic that I, that I enjoyed before, and I, did, wasn't look, I wasn't looking forward to The Last Jedi, based on that trailer. And I'm not... This one doesn't look so bad, I would say, as long as that's not real. And depending on what they do with Sidious. It will be interesting, I'm sure, but I'm not looking forward to seeing it. But I will be seeing it for sure. It might be the best of the trilogy, but to me, that's not saying a great deal. But I hope it will be, so... Tell me your thoughts, show me your crimes, and remember, jump! Oh, that subscribe button if you would like to read that cheese. Do you want to see a dark ray? I hope you don't. I hope you don't! Actually, I hope you do, and if they do, you'll enjoy it. But here we go. Oh, well, my munchins, take care, my munchins. <laughs> <laughs>